Hello all, welcome to a rainy M16. We're at the Theatre of Dreams, or in most recent years, the Theatre of Nightmares. If you're a Red Devil, you should enjoy this. If you're Liverpool, City, Arsenal, or anyone else for that matter, you'll just have to grin and bear this. Now this is definitely the biggest project I've taken on for a YouTube video. Things aren't perfect, but it's the best version of Old Trafford I could make given my impatience and desperation to fast track things. Now, as you're aware, Sir Jim is now a minority stakeholder in the club and he's openly admitted to wanting to knock down Old Trafford and build a new stadium on site. Now, personally, I'll be very sad to see Old Trafford demolished. I've visited many times over the years and it holds a lot of dear memories. I believe my first game was a 2-2 draw against Norwich City in December of 1993. But anyway, let's begin our tour. So we are heading down a Samat Busby Way here. Now this building here is the MU Foundation. They are associated with helping young people make better choices in their life through sport and association with United. You'll have to ignore the random farm animals in Manchester. I'm not sure how to get rid of them, so I'll just ignore them. So coming down St Matt Busby Way, we have your usual security in place here on match days. You have your bollards to prevent any vehicles coming on site. And beyond this wall I believe we have various car parks. Behind the south stand we have a railway line or tram line perhaps, I think it might be a tram line. This building here used to be the old megastool where you could purchase your United memorabilia replica shirts and other stuff associated with the club okay now here is the east stand which you hit after coming down some Matt Busby way I think most of the match day traffic probably comes down there and when you're roughly in this area you have a statue known as the United Trinity celebrating the legacy of George Best, Dennis Law and Sir Bobby Charlton. Fortunately I couldn't get any replica statues so this is in no way to disrespect anybody at all. 
but we had to use some scarecrow targets to try and replicate the United Trinity there. Sticking with statues, I'll find one of Sir Matt Busby adorning the outside of the east stand there. If you are collecting, I believe, executive tickets, you will come to this area, have to pass through security, into the building, where you collect said tickets. Just adjacent to the ticket office there, is the home of the United Megastore somewhere you won't catch me spending my money currently boycotting United due to various owners who have been in place since around 2005 but anyway moving on from that and the politics this is the mega store where you can purchase your replica harm away and third kits and some united memorabilia here to do do a pink range as well and you check out here before exiting the mega star okay so that's the view there sometimes or should I say the murals posters on the side of the east end does change an awful lot I wanted to incorporate a flag rather than a specific complicated poster you have the staff offices there I believe the east end I can certainly see desks and computers when I've been to the ground. And that is the view from this side. I believe the um, disabled fans have access to the ground in uh, this location here, perhaps. That's where they are seated in the ground, just below the away fans. And then we have the, I believe the south stand here, known as the Sir Bobby Charlton stand. And access to your seat from this stand you have to come through the Munich tunnel so you have your entrances to the ground so the red doors and then I believe around here you have your directors and executive entrances for the big wigs and ex players so those are the entrances there they are manned by security so you need to show your pass to enter those zones can go away. So this quadrant here, the southwest quadrant of the stadium, which 
I shall reveal later. I'll show you some aerial shots there. And I believe when the players arrive on match day, I think they somewhere over here park. Private car park. We have rows of security allowing the players access to the stadium there. And in front of us here is the West stand known as the Stratford End where you have your die-hard supporters I'm just going to show you the quadrant here this is the northwest quadrant and you'll see these glass rooms this is your entrance to more executive suites I believe you have the 1968 suite and possibly the captain's lounge or something like that I'm not terribly sure but I do know the 68 suite is located here And then we find ourselves in front of the North Stand here. The most recently named stand, the Sir Alex Ferguson Stand. And you have further access to VIP areas there. I believe you have the, I think it's called the Bridgewater Canal there, which passes almost parallel to the North Stand. We have further access to the stadium from the north across the canal. And then I believe you have a miniature football pitch here on the north side now this structure over here I believe is the United official ticketing office where you collect your match day tickets just take you through the tunnels of the west and north stand so you can get a feel for Old Trafford if you've never been or if you have been hopefully this looks relatively familiar Unfortunately, I couldn't be asked to construct Hotel Football, which is located somewhere in this region. It would have been an extremely complex task, and we've already spent enough time constructing this beautiful stadium, complete with leaky roof, well documented leaky roof. Okay, all. Now for the creme de la creme. Welcome to Old Trafford. Now I have left the roof as a transparent glass structure. You will know from aerial shots of Old Trafford 
there are white girders and components covering these areas that would have been too complex a task and I wanted to allow a little bit of transparency as I said it's not perfect but hopefully good enough West End is your Stratford End your North Stand have the East Stand and the single tiered South Stand there now on the first tier of the East End you have the Adidas writing and lager so again that would have been too complex to do but an interesting fact about this build was I started with the pitch first I used the ratio of one block being three meters checked the dimensions of the pitch and constructed things accordingly okay, okay excuse the horses and sheep tearing up the grass so this is the view from the east stand must be one of the best feelings in the world to turn out for United it is the stuff that dreams must be made of ok now let's do this properly we have the players tunnel here I've not constructed any changing rooms at all so we come into the stadium here from the north from the southwest quadrant the west and immediately to your left and the manager substitutes and staff make their way to the home dugout which I believe Ten Hag changed from previously this one to this one so I believe this side is now our home dugout because he wanted it closer to the tunnel I'm sure you have to correct me if I'm wrong but I believe that's the case there we, go. we have the home dugout and there the view from the away dugout and as you know United always like to be attacking the Stratford end the second half where they say the ball is sucked into the goal and you'll remember those times towards the end of a match approaching Fergie time when Sir Alex would point to his watch and he did admit that this was a ploy to spook the opponents and basically send the message to the players that United were going to throw the kitchen sink if we were chasing the game so very much help you have enjoyed exploring this old traffic build We're using minecraft it has taken I don't know how many blocks to construct plenty of hours I'm going to allow you to relax and drift off now and I'll hope
hopefully see you on the next SRP production.